Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, to one and only Charlie Brown. I just wanted to let you guys know that you can check out Around the Town podcast right now on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, anywhere you get your podcasts. Again, that's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So come on. Don't you want to go around the town with Charlie Brown? If you can pick up what I'm putting down, Around the Town, Charlie Brown. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Once again, it's time to go around the town with. Hey, I said agents? Yeah. Ages. Eight. <clears throat> Whatever. That's standing there. Anyway, how are everybody doing? I hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas so far, your, your Christmas month. And again, this is day three for the 25 days of Christmas. Also, the 25 Christmas movies that I want to talk to you guys about. Now, this one I wasn't even going to put on the list, but. After all, me and my son watched Home Alone, we were just sitting in the house chilling. You know, chilling. It was cold outside. Chilling. <laughs> we didn't have any chili, though. <laughs> anyway, dad joke. So, <clears throat> while we were sitting there, we ended up watching Guardians of the Galaxy, the Christmas special. <clears throat> it is really good. I, I, um, I've realized that Disney, they're real, when they do this, like, quick special, just throw it out there. Because the special itself is only, like, 44 minutes long. Um, and it goes by like, like really smoothly. It's like, it's not, it's not tedious to watch. It's, it's really good. Um, the characters, they're trying to, let me just give you a little bit of background on the story. So, <clears throat> so, you know, Peter, he, he's been away from earth and then he went back to earth, but then they're on nowhere trying to fix things up on nowhere, help people out and stuff like that. At the same time, you know, uh, Gamora's gone and, you know, and then it's after the events of Endgame, so he's going through a lot emotionally, and they want to give him a good Christmas. So, what happens is Thrax and, um, uh, Mences, uh, M M Mences, I think that's, I think that's the correct way to pronounce her name. Um, that's her name, right? Uh, yes, I hope that's her name. I hope I got that right. So, their character, they go back to Earth, and they want to bring him a gift from Earth to remind him of Christmas and the Christmas spirit and stuff like that. Basically, the whole premise of it is that as, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy characters are trying to give a good Christmas for Pete because, you know, he's from Earth and that, that, that's something, that's a tradition of his. And and the wacky, tacky, and crazy things that happen along the way. However, I gotta say, uh, the actors in this did a great job. Uh, and that's saying something coming from me because I don't really care for the, um, how should I put this, the uh, Marvel humor. I'm not really one for that. Um, but they do, they, for some reason, the Marvel humor always seems to work for for the characters for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think because I, I don't know how, how else to say that. Uh, it doesn't seem forced as much as the one in, uh, well, not, it's not that it's forced. <clears throat> They're, so they put the, the humor in there, and they're trying to be funny. But I'm trying to find a good way of putting this to, so you guys can understand what I mean. So Guardians of the Galaxy, it's like the characters themselves. It's like that's how the characters are. That's that's there, there you go. That's how the characters are. And so sometimes when some of the jokes and stuff that they, they, they do in the movie <clears throat> come off of, of how they play off of each other. So the movie Guardians of the Galaxy is, is, is kind of action sci-fi comedy so it it seems like it fits um now thor uh ragnarok uh it, it worked in thor ragnarok but in thor love and thunder it seemed all over the place it seemed really scattered like uh the director which the direct director even said tyra watiti they had they filmed so much of them just like basically just playing around and hanging out and but i don't i, I think as a director you need to like will that back a little bit because there were scenes that were like really serious and you didn't really give the gravitas that it needed for that scene to be serious and then there were other scenes that were just really ridiculous and then even for a comic book movie have me questioning things i shouldn't question things when you setting things up in your world and you already set them up beforehand especially considering it's part of the mcu so we have all these other movies that came out beforehand and for me to have to sit there and keep questioning things constantly about the humor that you put in the movie, I don't like that. Anyway, that's getting the part away. And I'm talking about negative stuff. I don't want to do that. Let me bring you back. 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 Good. You guys are back? Good. Anyway, 
If you guys got Disney Plus, please check out Guardians of the Galaxy the Christmas special. It is worth the watch. It is it is it, 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 again, it's only 44 minutes and you can sit down with your whole family and watch it. Just like the first movies I talked about with you guys. Good, wholesome fun. Now, I'm pretty sure in this list I'm going to have some movies that I can't say that. There is good, wholesome fun. Hmm. <clears throat> no. Some no, of these movies no, might be R-rated. No. Some of these movies might be um a little violent and gory. But we'll see. Once we get them and move it along a little, little bit more in this 25 days of Christmas with the 25 Christmas movies that I'm trying to present to you guys. So, again, if you guys have Disney+, Plus, please go and check this out. As a matter of fact, I think they're going to bring this out on DVD as well. It's not just on Disney+. Plus. I think this week or next week, I think they're putting it on DVD. And if it is, you guys will be able to check it out at the Red Box if you don't have Disney+. Plus. But anyway, you got the Red Box if they bring it out on that. <clears throat> and then you have Disney Plus. So please, for day three, go and check out Guardians of the Galaxy, brought to you by Marvel, a.k.a. also Disney, a.k.a. also those guys, those dudes, those people. <laughs> if you can pick up what I'm putting down, Around the Town, Charlie Brown. Ta-ta.